Welcome back all my peeps, it's your girl cooking with Ash. Today, in today's video, we will be preparing some delicious raisin rice. If you never prepare raisin rice, well, you're in the right video because we're gonna be doing it step by step. I'm not even gonna go into all the ingredients. Everything I'm using will be listed in the description box below or at the end of the video. So let's get cooking, let's put this rice on, let's boil some rice, yeah, let's go. Oh, we got we big karahi heating up. Y'all know when we bring out the big karahi, is plenty food, right? But who shined this karahi? So me wonder. Eat this girl come proper to work. Anyway, we're gonna go in with three tablespoons of butter here and I'll be butter milled down, okay? Now that I have all my rice up, me hear me rice, my run before me even think when me throw in the pot, eh? Now the butter is nice and melted down. I'm gonna go in with me rice. And you know what? I wash this rice till the water run clear. You want to get rid of all the excess starch in this rice. And I didn't throw in any aromatics in this pot first because I want this rice to parch as much as it can without any of the aromatics or anything of that start in it, you know. Because usually, you know, when you throw in your spice and your aromatics and stuff, things start stick. I want this rice just fry dry and loose, you must scatter, you know, guys, and they make forest and the forest must scatter. Well, the forest must scatter because you parch your rice good, you know? So we want to parch this up on low and slow heat for about maybe 10 minutes or so. Then we go start dashing out a thing in the pot, okay? So now that our rice is all nice and toasty, and look how we scatter and we get rid of all the liquid. Again, the full view in the pan today, eh? We're gonna go in with all our aromatics, everything we cut up. Have a dash them in here. My defy, eh? My scraper thing because my one get everything in. I over here, I've been not with nothing, okay? So I'm gonna go in and give this a good mix. Incorporate this in nice. And this, you know, my rice part about maybe seven or eight minutes. Um, we're gonna parge the rice a few more minutes with all these aromatics and spice and stuff like that So the flavor can infuse really well into the rice Remember I told you guys that I'm not throwing in you know all the aromatics and stuff because I start catch at the bottom of the pan when I parge the rice This is why y'all see what I say, you know, so you, you want to keep standing next to the karahi and keep turning the rice because you don't want anything to burn and like taste bitter in the rice. I have my raisin soaking in some water. You want to soak the raisin, wash it up good, get rid of any impurities and soak it so it plump up like your girl here, okay? I'm gonna go in with all my dry seasoning and I know I not get scared. Everything will be in the description box at the end of the video, okay? So we're gonna add it here. I'm gonna give this a good old mix. All the flavors start building flavors to this rice, but you see how nice and dry this rice is. Like it's part really nice and dry. That's what you're looking for. Nice and smooth and dry. Yeah, baby. Now we're gonna go in with our raisins. That's right, in she go, baby. Get a sizzle. We want to mix it in well. You know, you want flavors throughout. You want to start building the flavor. And give this a few minutes in the rice. Now I'm going to go grab my water. Everything is nice and plump up. I'm going to go in with my water, hey? And y'all know how I just do this thing, right? And it's estimated like, um, like as soon as my, 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 my um, fingernail, like this part of it is here. Ah, but the fingernail different though, right? Um, is like touching the rice right above. I know it's good to go. So for your estimate, you can always go one inch over the rice, okay? So I would stick it in, and as long as I reach me, 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 um, you know, my measurement here with my finger, life is good. And this is what it's looking like, you know. You can see the water cover the rice nicely. That's what you're looking for. I'm gonna go ahead, pop a lid on this, and let it steam for 25 to 30 minutes. Do I not take out the cover, or go fluff the rice, or touch it between cooking process. 
leave the thing to do your thing okay so see you guys back with delicious fluff rice so while this is going let me talk a little bit about the other veggies we will be adding to this pot my choice of veggie is carrots i have some sweet peppers i'm using some corn and some green peas listen if i don't like all them kitchen mints this that me use go ahead and use any veggie of your choice broccoli cauliflower spinach maybe you know, maybe i'll put a little spinach too i mean i know it depends on my mood right yeah so you know that you can customize this to your taste and preference you know you don't have to use all these things that i'm using you know you could leave it like that but i like to add all these veggies because you know it flavors it more number one number two y'all know that little picnic this and then veggies we have to incorporate veggies in their meal and keep it healthy so our rice is still going we have 22 minutes more so see you in 22 minutes so, so this is what our rice is looking like nice and fluffy. nice and fluffy. Let me drop this guys and it's exactly 30 minutes so what we're gonna go ahead and do i'm gonna go ahead remove all this time because you know the time serves the purpose here but i still want to get all the leaf inside scrape out all the leaf make sure all come out if i frighten the whole hot thing i will be mindful here and I'm gonna go ahead and add my chop up veggies. But guess what, guys? I am not like pre frying the veggies. And listen, I hear me out before I come for me. That oh, the thing was spiled and whatever. I'm serving this up like ASAP, like in the next probably 15 to 20 minutes. What you wanna do is gently fluff your rice up, fluff it up. And I don't feel the need to. Um, you know saute or fry up my veggies because this is not going to spoil this can go without sauteing the veggies up for you know a couple well hours eight hours or so because i did it before and um it doesn't spoil but if you're gonna leave it longer and you have like it's on in the heat and stuff go ahead and saute the veggies so i'm gonna go in with my corn and green beans add that in so, you know, we're going to lock this in the pot and let it steam for a little bit more, like probably five, six minutes. And it's going to be perfectly fine here. So I'm going to go in with the carrots and the sweet pepper here. You know, maybe I'll grab some baby spinach and um, add it here too. But I'm going to get it here. So I'll grab it and add it. And you want to mix this in. Look how fluffy and nice this rice is mix it in cover it back and let it sit on the stove top for about you know five six minutes this rice can be served up with any protein of your choice chicken beef pork whatever you know whatever people want shrimp you know so that this is it that's all she wrote so i'm gonna cover this and then i'll have my taste tester dig in and let you guys hear them review i am gonna serve this up with some chicken i let it hot so i know my friday chicken hot hot yeah i can't tell my eye and i got drew look how good this thing look to finish this up i'm gonna go in with some chopped up baby spinach mix it in and that's all she wrote peeps that's all she wrote mix it in and cover it you know um for a few minutes more and we're good to go you can also do some scallions here if you would like drop it on top of it you know give it more flavor and enjoy serve it up to your family but look at that vibrant color from the spinach you know the heat from the rice is gonna cook this and you don't need the um, spinach to be like overcooked in this you want it to still have that vibrant color that's why i didn't add it when i add the other veggies so this is what our raisin rice is looking like and i paired it up with some chinese style fried chicken and we have our two favorite taste testers are gonna go in and give us their review dish in hungry picnins and the chinese style fried chicken is on my channel in case anyone want to try it i'll drop that in the description box for you guys how is the rice, mamas? Good. I like the rice. You like the rice? Yeah, what nice you? Nice and soft. Nice and fluffy, right? Yeah. And it's so loose. Let's show them mm -hmm. how loose the rice is. 
Look how fluffy and loose the rice is. And I don't really like raisins, but when I eat it with rice, it tastes good. Yeah, the sweet and yeah. salt contrast. Mm -hmm. So there you have it, guys. Me pick me and I'm like it. Thank you so much for joining us in the kitchen. See you soon with another delicious recipe. Stay blessed, stay safe. Please do not forget to share, like, and hit the subscribe button. Sending our love, thanks, and gratitude. Mwah!